Good Monday morning and happy Labor Day to everyone. It's a rainy day here in Ohio. We are down here at our local wharf marina here in the Newburgh area. Newburgh Landing. Newburgh Landing. And we are down here, yes, even in the rain, we are for that. There she is. The newest. The American Countess. Oh, look, it's got two gangplanks. They all do, huh? Not all of them. Yeah, I've seen it on the uh, Heritage when she went through. She's a one-year-old boat. Beautiful boat. Doesn't look like floating cake. Oh, dear God. <laughs> like a big fancy wedding cake. I am seriously going to get you hooked up with a doctor to find out this fascination you have with food. I seriously am. Ladies, if you have a guy like this at home, please, please comment below. And how do you handle it? Look at her. Now, she's still under tug, right? I, we'll see. So there was some kind of mechanical error, evidently, and the tug was pushing us.
love to see the two of them together. on her way up to Stratton. We're going to be catching her up there, following her all the way to Liverpool. So, we've made it up to Stratton. We sort of, uh, we're racing her <laughs> there for a little bit. We won too, so far. I hear the whistles. I mean, she's getting close, so... We're going to be getting out here when she gets closer. Yeah. Still raining. Yeah. Yeah. We're going to chase her in the rain. And I promise we do do more than chase boats. But we will chase boats. And it, we will chase them all. And especially ones we haven't seen. Like, I mean, no, we'll she went them. through one other time. But we were either, you were still either working at Goodwill or whatever. But we weren't able to catch her when she was when going I through. Her light. Yeah, plus they go through a, a strange times. So, as soon as she gets closer here, we'll get out and film her going through the locks up here in Stratton. But stick around. So, we're sitting here. She is coming. She's approaching the lock now, but um. Yeah, we don't want to go wait by the river right now. We'll get them. Um, we'll get moist. It's moist. raining. We'll get moist. Yeah, like so, she's still a distance away from the lawn. But. And I don't know. I like seeing her more here. Not that I don't enjoy when we see her in Toronto or Wellsville, or Liverpool, but more or less, seeing her here at the locks, she's closer. Yeah, we always come down, even when I live way, way up in the hills over there in Wellsville. My dad worked at this plant. Well, he works at Toronto one, but he, he traveled between the two. He was the chemist so he knew all these people and he would take me out onto these whatever you call them things. so we would be there when the delta queen the Poland, the mississippi queen it's always really unique and the president when it used to come through it's a lot of memories for me coming here And I know they're probably getting tired of me repeating myself on that, but being from Pennsylvania, okay, yeah, we had the Gateway Clipper in Pittsburgh, but I lived in <laughs> northwestern, or, you know, north central, northwestern Pennsylvania, and you don't see, we, we didn't have a river big enough for something like this to come on. Right. So this is always a big deal for me when I get a chance to see one of these boats. It's a big deal for me and I grew up here. And it could be beautiful. it could be one that we've seen a hundred times or one like this one here that we've only seen for the first time. It's mm -hmm. just it's just a big deal for me to see them. And I just hope all of you are enjoying this as well. Hey, take this into consideration. We're out here in the rain so you don't have to be That's true. That's true. Plus we're adorable. We're just adorable. I'll admit it, I'm married and I can't help it. <laughs> but she's getting a little bit closer here, so we're going to switch you back around. She's like poking out. Well, it's what made me look the other direction, you know, because if another boat is coming into the lock, I wonder if they'd have to wait for her to come through, or will she have to wait for them? I'm not sure how it works, really. I think it depends. She's probably on a tight schedule. I mean, 
he's got passengers to, to deploy a pit bull. Yeah. Hmm. And then get ready and pick up to leave tomorrow. Yeah. Go back down. Yeah, the heritage, if we could see them pass. Oh, that would be. She's coming back down. That would be really down. nice. Wouldn't that be cool if that happened when we got to Liverpool? But she hasn't left Pittsburgh yet, so. Well, that doesn't. No, no because that lady that we talked to at the Toronto said that she had called somebody and. She knows it's not in Pittsburgh, but they don't usually call here until they're an hour away. Yeah. They don't call to the next lock. So I think Montgomery's the next lock up. She might be at Neville Island. <clears throat> so when they get to Montgomery, they will call it here with an ET or when they pass through here. I was on the board. Like a lock? Mm -hmm. Except in the winter. This one seems more square. <laughs> well, doesn't it? She seems squarish. The big square she could. I'm just hoping the tug pushing her hasn't broke down. No, <laughs> wouldn't that be funny? Oh, no, it wouldn't. See, that's, that, that's kind of aggravating. I mean, I don't know what the mechanical problems are. I'm sure we'll never know, but you, you probably spend, what was it, like five or six thousand a person? Yeah. <laughs> and then you don't even get the full experience because another boat's pushing it. No, she's moving. Slow. How does that tub see her? I mean, I know the guy in, up in the fellow in the Cairo house is telling the guy in the tub to you know, turn this way. You know, turn this way. Just look at the difficult maneuverability that, that has, to, has to take place. My left, not your left. I mean, because he can't yeah. really see. Honey, I think mean, he's in the same direction as he is. If, if the uh, riverboat captain is telling them to go port, I'm pretty sure if the tug is facing the same direction, they're going to know to go port or starboard. It's not like it's not like they're facing off of it each other. Still, it's still with the arm. You're relying on the guy in this front half to tell you when to, to stop, around. when to turn. Yes. Yes. You really can't see. When to pick up speed. <laughs> when to slow down. You know what? I don't even care standing out here in the rain. It's just fun looking at her. I do. Zoom back out here a little bit because as she gets closer.
You know, my phone got wetter when we were standing there in the auto and then it is here. I mean, it seems to be raining a little more here, but I'm not getting as much on the phone as I did up in Toronto. That's weird. Look at it. So, a little bit closer here. She's crazy. It's coming. I mean, I know she has to go slow as she's approaching the lock. Because they can't go speeding in. One slight miscalculation and poof. But I'm enjoying this. I'm just standing here seeing her. Oh, those are, those are cables or something in the front of that blue part. I thought it was like tables or something for dining, but I yeah. guess that's like, see in the front oh, here? Oh, yeah. We're waiting on Tuggy to... I mean, just look at that part. It doesn't do it justice on camera. I mean, it really it doesn't. It really doesn't. It really doesn't. To see these things in person... It's just a whole different experience. I mean, it looks more twainish with all that the, uh, what we always call gingerbread that you can't find hilarious, but no. Uh, only only when you say it, because I know how you are. <laughs> you are just like you are just like very food. It looks oriented. like it looks like you were sitting on the veranda. You yeah. know what I mean? I'm on the veranda with my whatever mint julep. In, in my linen white finery with my little hanky. You know, that's what it kind of looks like. Just beautiful. Look at her. One day we're going to ride in. Now she's getting closer to getting in the lock. I think we've gotten moist enough. We're gonna go sit in the uh, Jeep and finish watching her lock get there. And then probably head ourselves to uh, get some lunch before she shows up in the other area. See you then. And she's, I'd say she's pretty much in there. I know they have to wait till the, uh, they have to shut the door. Yeah, you know, the tug gets in before they shut the doors. But, um, we're just sitting here, still watching her. I think there's like one or two cars behind us that are still here watching her as well. Everybody else is like, left. Now people don't have the patience for this piece. It, it takes a while to walk through. Honey, some of them are older than us. They're supposed to be more patient. Okay, they ain't have time. They <laughs> got hours left to live. They gotta go get their Bluebird plate special. Okay. We are kidding. So, are. nobody please be offended. <laughs> I mean, for we God's like sakes. We're old. We're, we're there, so it, it's okay. But, um, yeah, she's still going into the lock. I mean, pretty soon we'll be able to see the gates closing there. I was always fascinated with this part. I want to say 
And I'm only gonna do be, be nice to you. But I wanna say, you know, once the gates close, I mean, we don't have to sit here and watch her, you know, go through dock. We can go down and maybe find some lunch. Okay. Get you fed a little bit because I know it's been like, what, an hour since you've been. <laughs> Or at least close to that. That's pretty been since had a can uh little piece of candy. What hour ago or so? So once that gate closes, stick with us. We're gonna follow her to Liverpool and we'll be back. So one of the places while we're waiting on the boat to get here that Dan brought me to when I moved to Ohio was down here in Wellsville. Now, just up the road a little bit here from where we are, there's an old furnace. Pottery kiln. An old pottery kiln. That um, we, we had a picture mm -hmm. we've been taking at. Yep. And everything. One of the other places he brought me to, though, it's pretty cool and it's still in use today mm -hmm. because Wellsville is one of those areas that will flood. There's a creek on the other side of this wall yep, the that we had <laughs> and it will raise up and it will flood at times. Now also on the other side, and it may be a later video down the way, but there's a, uh, a veterans. Memorial. Memorial on the other side. There's of this a couple wall. in this town. Well, let's flip you around here so you can see this wall. I mean, it is beautiful. There are, oh, look, the Delta Queen. That's about the only time you're going to see her anymore, honey. But there are, and there's a picture of the kiln that we had our picture taken. In Indian by. Rock. That's no longer there. So that was. <clears throat> Like a natural thing, I guess. And when they put the highway in, they blasted it to smithereens. But this wall is their flood wall. And we were eating down here one day when they were running a drill mm -hmm. and putting it up. Yeah, they put the boards. They put the boards up and the sandbags behind it, and all the water is contained on the other side of the flood wall. Yeah. So the river backs in up into this creek. The creek rises over the bridge and the whole town would be underwater. Yeah. So. But the murals are on both sides of the wall. And another cool feature here is this is also, what is that with the air baby? Um, boy in the boot. That's it? That's what I said. It was just, it was here originally and then it was somewhere else. And when I was a kid, this was an angel and I forget they moved that somewhere, but a you know, a very prominent family had paid to put it back here, and there she blows. Yeah, and I think it lights up at night, don't it? I believe there's lights on. Because I think we came through it one time when it was getting dark or whatever, and it looked like there was a light around there. But so anyhow, that's just one of those things that you know, if you're just not paying attention to things when you're driving around you miss this stuff yeah. you really don't see this kind of stuff a lot but, yeah. and I always found it interesting to be here at this wall it's, I used to play on this wall when I was a kid it's, it's a lot of a lot of history I mean on the other side of the road down the wall a little more there's pictures of P pretty boy Floyd there was a picture of Pretty Boy Floyd well, on there. Well, his accomplice was jailed here, Rochetti. Yeah. So, yeah. I mean, that's yeah, that's I mean, another trip. Take like I said, that, that's seat. about the only way you're going to see the Delta Queen from now on, honey, is that picture. We will see it. I have faith. Some billionaire, I mean, come on. You people are always looking for a cause. Go fix that boat and put it back on the water. Somebody please so that I can not hear about this.
<laughs> so, well, we're going to go eat lunch and we will um, see you in a few. We'll see you in a few. Pray for me, please. <laughs> All right, seriously. We just heard the ice cream truck. You should have seen the look on his face. And then when he realized it's on the other side of the river. Wave to the camera, honey. <laughs> All right. She's a coming. We're in Wellsville. So she's just now coming past the trees. Let's bring you around. All I see is the bush. She's behind the bush. There she is. All right, we are up here, Coons Avenue, Counts Avenue, however you want to say it, at the old Danny, the old Danny Homestead. That's the house I grew up in from 10 until I moved out, and I lived at the other end of the street as a kid. So you come up here, you'll be able to get down. Seriously. And down there is Route 7. Again, another look at Danny's home when he was younger. And here she is.
sight he's seen as he was growing up. And on that note, we're getting ready to head to East Liverpool Wharf to see her. I mean, what can you say? <laughs> I mean, seriously, what can you say? But we'll see you there. We're here at Liverpool Wharf. She wasn't far behind us, so let's get ready to go see her.
that she was going slow because of bridges and all that that she may have had to go through, but she went past Newell Bridge. I didn't say that. And someone else said that. A lady said that. Bon voyage to the American Countess. What a pleasure it was to see her. Mm -hmm. So, till the next time, don't be afraid to go off the beaten path. Thank you for following us. Thank you for subscribing. We hope you enjoyed this video. Hit that like and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Have a good night. Bye.